Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to talk about one of my very favorite topics, which is the human brain. I find this topic so infinitely interesting and fascinating for the simple reason that literally everything that we do and everything that we consider existence is just an interpretation of the mind. This is what we call perspective. And the really cool thing about perspective is each and every one of us has a completely unique perspective, a completely unique way of viewing reality. So when I think about the brain, I can't help but picture those old school black and white pictures of the very first computer ever invented. This thing was ginormous. Uh, it took up pretty much a whole side of a building. It was 1,800 square feet long, and it weighed close to 50 tons. Uh, to put that in perspective, if you could find the 10 largest elephants that exist today and combine them into one, that would be about as big as that computer was. Now, it's not necessarily the size of the computer that makes me think about the brain, but it is... When I look at those pictures and I see all those tubings, all those wirings, all those connections being made from one place to another that are transferring information, these thousands and thousands and thousands of connections, this reminds me of the brain, of the neural pathways within our brain, the neurons, the synapses that are constantly firing nonstop. Um, and if you could take that image and multiply it by a trillion, not a billion, but a trillion, that is what the mind is. Well, that is what the mind is after you, and you compress it in this itty bitty little thing and plop, it in our head. And this guy is literally nonstop collecting data. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, ever since our existence, just collecting and interpreting data. Every word anyone's ever spoken to you, every song you've ever listened to, every movie you've ever watched, every emotion you've ever felt, every food you've ever eaten, every experience you've ever had as a human being, and your brain's interpretation of that experience. Whether it viewed something as positive or negative, whether it was true or false, everything that's ever happened to you. So. We have the most complex and sophisticated piece of machinery in existence within our heads. And I think it's pretty ridiculous that we all own and operate one of these supercomputers, yet we tend to place little value on it. And this is something that's pretty common in the information era that we tend to place little value on things that are given to us for free. And I see people, you know, disrespecting their supercomputers. I see people that are not giving their brains the proper rest they need when they're tired. Not giving the, the proper nutrients it needs to work optimally. Not feeding it the knowledge it wants when not challenging your brain when it's thirsty for information and if I were to say that the first 10 people to leave a comment I'm gonna give you a brand new MacBook Pro or whatever the best computer is that exists today when you're watching this video unlimited data unlimited updates runs as smooth as possible by the way, I'm totally not doing this, <laughs> but uh, you would likely treat it with respect. You wouldn't just grab that computer, smash it off your staircases, throw it into the corner, kick it and pour chocolate milk all over it. That would be really dumb. You would likely treat it with respect. You would likely take care of it. Yet, you will take something infinitely more important to your overall well-being and health and treat it with disrespect and infect it with viruses 
Uh, the definition of a virus is... What is the definition of a virus? I believe it's a data which is capable of copying itself, which is capable of corrupting the overall system. Data which is capable of copying itself, which corrupts the overall system. Now, if you think about negative patterns, which we all have within our brains, recurring negative thoughts, that's pretty much the definition of a virus. And each one of our brains works exactly like a computer. You can run positive programs on your computer that are good for your overall well-being and health, that bring you joy and happiness, that make you feel good that increase your knowledge and helps you accomplish your goals in life, that puts you in a positive state of mind, or you can run viruses on your software which slow your software down, that make your software delete data and misplace information and have all these recurring problems that happens within it. And Today, I'm going to give you one step, the first step, which is the most important step towards battling viruses and upgrading your software. So, what is it? Identify the programs which you have running on your software. That's it. Do you have those positive programs? that we just talked about, things like going for a run, things like meditating, things like eating healthy fresh vegetables, or are you running those viruses, eating shitty foods, eating fast foods, hanging out with toxic people, those soul-sucking energy vampires, people that are always complaining, recurring negative thoughts, the Dalai Lama has a great quote in his book, The Art of Happiness, when he was asked, Yo, what's the secret to happiness? Uh, and his response was, One begins by identify identifying those factors which lead to happiness and those which lead to suffering. Then, one goes by cultivating those which lead to happiness and eliminating those which lead to suffering. That is the way. Now, I think this is so awesome because in just two small sentences, he puts something very complex in a very simple way, a very simple form. And I think all of us, all of us, myself included, uh, you know, I'm constantly battling those negative habits, those viruses which infect all of us. And the first step is to always identify the programs which you have in your software currently. So, please remember, it's not fame or fortune or money or who you know that's going to get you what you want in life. If those things are important, they are secondary causes. What's always most important is that you take care, you respect, you have a healthy brain, a healthy mind. Even the weather agrees with me. And if you take care of your mind, if you take care of your brain, you can literally attain any desire that you have. So, for more tips, hints, or rants about the brain, please click the big red button down below and thanks for listening. Peace.